What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Jamal, and today I'm gonna tell y'all about the time I met T.I. So, if y'all saw my last video about Lauren London when I met her, y'all heard my story about how I was in ATL as an extra. They were filming the movie ATL down here in Atlanta in 2005. I got selected to be an extra. I was on set for eight days as an extra, and I basically got a chance to meet the entire cast and the director, Chris Robinson, what's up, bro? So I was an extra in a lot of the school scenes and I got a chance to be right there in the camera next to T.I. in at least two scenes. So I'm gonna tell y'all, cause it was a crazy story how it was happening. So in the first scene, we were walking in the hallway. It was basically him walking down the hallway and I was an extra just kind of hanging up against the locker. And sometimes when they film in a movie, they have extras just like walking back and and forth across the scene just to kind of make it seem more real and to make the background seem immersive because that's how real life looked. And the person who was in charge, and basically, so they picked me as an extra to be one of those guys that walk across the screen. That was my entire purpose. I started on this side, I walked across the screen on that side. That was it. And so I was supposed to walk across right in front of TI. And the person whose job it was to tell me when to start walking was the AD. And so basically, <laughs> They were like, action. So the AD was right there next to me out of the camera and he'll be like, okay, go. Every time he told me to go, he told me to go at the wrong moment. And so when I went, I ended up bumping into T.I. This shit happened three times and it was all because he was telling me to go too late. I wanted to go sooner because I just felt like it was late. He was like, wait, 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 go. And then I'll go and then I'll bump into T.I. And I was supposed to bump into him, so they had to cut. This shit happened three times, y'all. I was so embarrassed. Oh God, on the third tape, this is what T.I. said. He said, he put his arm around me, he was like, <laughs> he was like, bro, you fucking up the scene. He was like, you gotta get that right, bro. Just, just walk a couple of seconds early or something. And I wanted to be like, but bro, it ain't me, it's the, he went trying to hit that shit. And so I was like, man, I ain't finna blame you for fucking up the scene. And so the fourth time, action. And the AD had me right here. This is like me and this is the AD and this is him like tapping me on my shoulder. And he's like, okay, get ready. And and I just went ahead and started walking before he said go. He was like that. I was like, man, fuck that. And so I went ahead and walked across the scene and the timing was perfect and it worked out. And uh, after they said cut, T.I., he looked at me and he was like, yo, like thumbs up, that's how it's supposed to go. And I was like, and that was super cool, y'all. So like, that was the time I met T.I., that's my T.I. story. He was super cool, he was about his business. It was like one of the uh, coolest moments cause at the time he was my favorite artist. And uh, it's funny cause after they cut that scene, after that, that scene was wrapped and we was, you know, the extras had to go back to the extras holding place. Um, I know T.I. and his boys, they went to the trailer to go smoke a blunt. I know this just cause I overheard him. He was like, well, shit, y'all ready? <laughs> I knew what time it was and I was just like, man, damn, one of these days I'm burning blunt with T.I. So, T.I., if you see this, smoke one, bro. What's up? Y'all stay tuned cause I got more stories like this about my mingling amongst the Hollywood people. Next up, I'm gonna tell y'all about the time I met Megan Good with her beautiful self. That was a good day.